your show. We're talking about dicks at some point, I think. <laughs> I, just, I mean, it always comes <laughs> up. <laughs> you know, I mean. dicks always do come up. Yeah. I just literally got off a three-hour stream, and dicks came up in every hour, I would say, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, dicks be coming up, dude. That's all they do is they yeah, come up. They you know yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully, <laughs> they get bigger. Jeff Bezos and his big dick rocket the other day. Did you see that? Oh, absolutely. I, absolutely where did that thing where did that go look look at the filming look what they're doing they're they're doing this (laughs) (laughs) things going up and down this is how they film it right it's it's literally a big jerking dick oh it looks like it (laughs) oh yeah i've seen some of the memes of like dr evil with the awesome powers and stuff yeah i find that shit very funny (laughs) very funny (laughs) look at that thing look at that thing go that is crazy. So where's that? Where's that ship going? It ain't going space, nowhere. Right? No one's on it. Nobody. Nobody goes to space. No one's ever been on a rocket ship. It's all bullshit. Okay. Really? Yeah. What? No, I could. Dig, I could dig Wait, that. What about the Challenger astronauts? Right? Is that your next question? Yeah. For did, I, did I just read your fucking mind? <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Um, what if I told you they were all alive and they're all professors at universities? You'd say you're fucking crazy. But here they are. They all have, well, all, we found six of the seven. They, they have identical twins that have the same name, same birthday, no record of, of them being born as twins. Um, and they sound the same. They look the same. They act the same. And none of them showed up at their siblings' funerals. See, this they, is tough for me because that's a Chinese guy and they all look the same. That's yeah, yeah, I'm with, you. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. That's racist, but I'm, in. I'm racist. <laughs> and then you got a black guy too, so you got to yeah. keep those two out. That's you know, tough. That's tough. This Hold guy, on. So you're, so you're saying they all have twins? Th- that's what they're saying. What are the fucking odds of that? Well, NASA likes twins because they can they could look at the bone density and compare. You know, that's bullshit. I'll give it to them. If you're twin, like, you have brothers and sisters, you're close to them. But if you had a twin, you're even closer. What are the chances none of the none of these would show up at the funeral of their spa, of their sibling? The chances zero. Deal with it. Um, this guy, I think it was this guy or this guy, but Dick, Dick Scoby, <laughs> he uh, he had a company, TikTok baby. <laughs> he had a company. Yeah, I knew it come up. Cows and trees or something like that. And you go to his website. We found his website, and uh, it was literally a cow, an animation of a cow taking off like a rocket with smoke coming out of its ass, doing this loop-de-loop, leaving the same pattern in the sky, you know, like a, like a crazy, you know, like look, 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 literally looked like the Challenger. And then we picked it up. We started making videos on it. Bam. Website disappeared. Company disappeared. Uh-huh. Yeah, dude. So let me ask you, where does, where does that, uh, the information about like the twins, and all, like who releases that? It's just like independent researchers? Independent like- researchers, like real researchers. Like we're the real reporters, like reporters on TV. They're not reporters. They're script readers. They, they, they're fed. You know, you've seen the, the clips I won't argue where with that. all of the news and all across the country and the world, they're all reading the same exact the same lines, thing over and same over exact again. lines. Right. They're not news reporters. They're script sellout, you know, sellout script readers. So but like so just to on. be, hang on, Harris, just okay. to be like an asshole, couldn't I? I myself just like put this picture together and then like leak it onto like flat earth reddit and be like look guys they all had good, twins like good one good one so we uh we've actually people have gone and found them and and and, and talked to them no way. Um, yeah yeah so some of them and they deny it they deny it but they're very very shaky but th- this one a lot of people have a lot of controversy with this one they're like well her skin's darker and ever well there's there's ways to lighten your skin look at michael jackson um but there's a speech <laughs> that she did la resnick um, when she was an astronaut, and then she's a, I believe, a Yale law professor. She, um, she was doing a speech, same hand gestures, same dimple, same voice, same gestures. Every, there's, there is zero, zero, zero percent chance that it's not the exact same person. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's all I got to say about that. No, yeah, that makes sense. Harris, you were going to say something there. Uh, uh, and, and let me ask you a question: so, if you so didn't know who saying? these guys were, did they just win the lottery? Yeah, <laughs> no, no. I know who those guys are. I, I said it. I said it. I, said it I, said it I, I totally screwed it. Did they just do the most amazing thing ever that no man has ever done before, or did they just get told that their dog was shot? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a picture of all the the lunar astronauts, quote unquote, all yes. sad at that, the press they're, conference because they, they can't lie to the camera. And recently, 
Um, did you see on Conan O'Brien, they had Buzz Aldrin on and Conan's like, you know, Buzz, you know, I remember seeing you land on the moon on TV. He goes, no, you didn't. And he's like, what do you mean I didn't? He goes, you saw an animation. We didn't have any TV cameras up there. You saw an animation. So they're backpedaling. We call it moving the globe post. Because every time we expose <laughs> that globe post, they move the globe <laughs> post farther back. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson, the high priest of scientism, he says, well, you know, people say, well, you can see you fly on an airplane. You can see the curve. And then we show how you can't see the curve from there. Like, well, you have to go in a MIG fighter. Right? And they showed a MIG fighter, you know, um, at 70,000 feet. And you see the curve, but one of the cameras wasn't a fisheye lens or wasn't looking through a curved glass. And we see a horizon at eye level. And so like, well, you can't see the curve at that. You have to go up like 120,000 feet. And we're like, how friggin' high do you want to go? And and so they're like, you know, Felix Baum Felix Baumgartner or whatever his name is. Every every time I screw up his name, people just fucking jump down my throat. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of the guy. Yeah, yeah. So How he dare was you? the guy. He was How the dare. Red Bull. You, you've heard of him, the guy that did the Red Bull space jump. This guy oh, yeah, yeah. jumped out and they're like, he saw the curve of the earth and we showed how this is the fisheye lens. He did two jumps before this practice that didn't use GoPro cameras and the, the horizon was at eye level, but inside the capsule, there's a camera looking forward over his head. And when he opens the door, you can see the horizon. It's straight level at, and, and at eye level. And when he opened the door, when he was getting in, you can see the horizon on the runway at the same exact level. He goes up 127,000 feet and the horizon didn't drop. Do you know how far the horizon should be down from that height? It's ridiculous. But um, I actually don't. Is there? I, I'll, like, I'll I'll show you. Um, this is how Planet high you gotta Mexico. go. We looked at the. We zoomed in. We can see this little river here. This is all New Mexico. Did you know New Mexico covered a quarter of the planet? I'm still seeing the Red Bull guy on my screen. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, you yeah. see him right here. The planet here. Oh, hey, sorry. This is, so all of this. All of this. All of this is New Mexico. So what part of New Mexico? It's just all new. It's New Mexico. If you yeah, but what part? I don't <laughs> New know. Mexico's pretty big. West, south. <laughs> yeah, but, but hold on. If you if you zoomed in enough, you know what lake that is. Or what lake? Yeah, is. You know, I don't know personally because I, I was. I, so then, how man, could you say that? Uh, because, because, <laughs> because we looked into it. I I don't remember. It was a long time ago. This is this is old. This is like five years old. So um, so the, and and we have other shots where it's flat and stationary. Right. I mean. When you look at when you when you look from 120,000 feet, um, this is what it looks like. This is 120,000 feet. Could they just be lying about how high up they are? Well, how friggin' high do you want to go? I mean, how much how much do they have to lie? I don't think anyone's gotten really much higher than that um, ever for any reason whatsoever. But there is a curvature formula, and uh, it works for the first thousand miles easy after that it kind of gets distorted but um not our formula their formula so at 242 uh, at, at 39,000 feet according oh, yes. to globe math the horizon <laughs> should be 242 miles away okay so if you're on the sure. ground sure. and you went straight out 242 miles there would be a 39,050 foot drop 39,050 feet but you're already at 39,000 feet. So the drop from this airplane, the horizon on both sides of the plane should be 78,000 feet below them. 78,000 feet is higher than a friggin' MIG fighter flies, right? 78,000 feet below them. It's higher. It, it, it's so high. But if you go on an airplane, look out the left window, look out the right window, you'll see the horizon at eye level. Draw a line. It goes right through your eyes. It's at eye level because we live on a flat, stationary plane and as you go up the horizon doesn't drop if you were on a ball it would drop as you go up mm. so do you believe there's like an edge like a end of the earth good good it's a good mountain question. range right good question what's by the way the, what's like what's at the end by the way every right. question you ask is pre-programmed by bill nye the lying guy with the bow tie <laughs> it's pre-programmed <laughs> can I, can I, <laughs> how dare I ask you some questions <laughs> just to break it up real quick can i you ask can but wait let me let, let, let's let he asked a question and then then and remember your question we'll just do one question at a time and we'll blow through them. okay so so what it what so here's the thing when you think of the flat earth you're like what they they've programmed you to believe that the flat earth is something that it's not we're not a disc floating in space like if you google flat earth you're gonna end up seeing this picture this is from like the flat earth society um obama what uh, oh what's that like a, like a right in my eyes i mean like like i said i'm not a flat earth guy but whenever i pictured someone who thought flat earth had thought it was like a rectangle like the map 
like a map. Like you're looking at a map. <laughs> yeah, like, like a, a map. paper like map. A map. <laughs> yeah. like exactly. When you like Google Flat Earth, you see pictures like this. This is not what Flat Earth is. If this is what Flat Earth was, I would think Flat Earthers were insane because this is ridiculous. This is not what we are. We're not a disc on that, floating in space. That infinite flat plane, so right? That's what we're you're the, talking about. We're the basement of the universe is the way I describe it. So if we're the basement of the universe, we live in like there's hills and valleys and stuff like so if you were out in the wherever in the hills whatever and it rained really hard would a puddle form at the top of a hill or at the bottom of the hill bottom of the hill very easy and the bottom it fills question. in the lowest it area a little dip it fills in, it, in the maybe. lowest area and then and so let's say it, it we have, we made a, pond, a lake or a pond or you know um where is the edge of the lake it's where the land is higher than the surface of the water large bodies of water at rest lay flat so where is the edge of the lake? It's where the land is just consistently higher than the water. It's the container of the water. Large bodies of water need a container. Well, we live here in what I call the earth pond and all of the islands, continents are surrounded by water, but all of the water is surrounded by its container. That container is Antarctica. Antarctica is the highest land on earth. Did they teach you that in school? No, look it up, it is. It's the highest land on earth. It's the container of our world. So. If you got to the edge of the lake, any lake, can you fall off? No, you step up onto the land. So, What's oh, out? On. Hang on, I, I got. Let me, yeah, yeah, that's your question, Richie. That's yeah, your. Yeah, I would like. To, so I've actually seen this before, and I get it. I like it actually because personally, I'm I'm uh, late to the trends on a lot of things, and I just finished Game of Thrones. I know I'm like 15 years late, whatever. <laughs> By the way, that entire I, series was made to make from the little midget going, I want to piss off the end of the world. Right? <laughs> the entire series was made for that line. Worth it. Think of the stupid ice wall. But we so what I was, what I'm saying is like, I always thought maybe it was possible we lived in like a, like below the wall or, or above the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a wall. Well, we'll call it the mountain range. It's the, the shoreline, the shoreline. Of, of, of our so world. My question is, can you go back to that picture of the, of the, the 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 lake the lake of the earth or whatever the world pond if you world will. pond sorry um <laughs> so right. no it's i want to use the proper you better apologize every time you ask me anything. i love um, term dude i'm a huge terminology guy right. i love i love world it pond. so world if pond. if you chartered a boat mm. and went around the north pole and the then north pole. yes and then the, in the south, center here north pole then, right here right so the center of the disc and then you took your boat and went around the South Pole. Wouldn't it take like 5,000 times longer to go around the South Pole? Yes. So have why they done do that? It? No. Nobody's <laughs> done it? Let me tell you, Nobody's no, done that. One person has done it. Hold on. One person, has, one person has done it. So they tell us that Antarctica is this continent at the bottom of the ball. There's no pictures of Antarctica from space or from, from satellites. you know. And uh, they just came out with this new topographical map. But there's like a missing hole right? Because they can't wrap it all together. But they tell us the circumference of Antarctica is about 13,000 miles. Here's how we could end this flat earth debate forever. Put it to sleep. No problem. You get a whole bunch of people. You go from Santiago over here to the base. You got two big airplanes, DC-10, 747s, whatever you got. And then you fill them with people from your podcast, me, Neil deGrasse Tyson, professors, right? Everybody. You got, you got everyone on these planes. One plane, you fly about a thousand feet in the air and you just follow the coastline. You just stay, you know, a quarter mile from the coast all the way around. 7,000 miles later, 6,500 miles later, both planes would meet over here. Done. Right. But the problem right, so is the earth isn't a ball because if it was, we'd all be dead. Um, and the, the, you can't do it because it's much longer. So the last person to do that is Captain Cook. And he took him three and a half years. He went over 65,000 or 60, 65,000 or 60,000 miles. Three and a half years. It took him 60,000 miles. Now the equator, which is right here, is only 24,000. So on a ball, it would get, that's the biggest circle. And as you get down to the bottom of the ball, everything gets smaller. So it could be 13,000 miles. 60,000 miles. So exactly what you said is exactly what happens. Here's the problem. People do circumnavigate the world, okay? Millions and billions probably by now have circumnavigated east and west. Zero have gone south. Zero. The shit view though, probably. What's that? North, North Pole and South Pole, probably not the greatest to look at. Oh my God! They're the, the people go people go to for sightseeing tours to Antarctica, but it's cost so much friggin' money. They don't want you seeing it, and they, and what they show you is nonsense. But here's how it works. Here's our North Pole. I got a big magnet here. 
the compass needle is pointing to the north. So I'm trying to push this magnet west, but west is a circle because that needle, ha west is this way around because that needle needs to point towards the north. So magnet magnets, you know, compasses only work on a flat earth. So now I'm pushing it east. Again, east is a circle. All of these circles on this map are east and west, depending on which direction you're going, right? So if I didn't go, if I didn't turn, like I'm going to dead wreck in West. Or I'm going to go, I'm not going to correct. I'm not going to follow the compass. I'm just going to go straight. And as soon as I start going straight, as soon as I don't turn, I'm heading South. South is every right. direction away from the center. On a, on a flat earth. On a flat earth. Correct. East and West right. are circles on a globe too, right? If you're a mile from the North Pole on a globe and you try to head West, your compass has to always point towards the center and you're going to walk 3.14 miles and you come right back to where you started from and you're heading dead east the whole time or dead west the whole time. That doesn't prove that the earth is, a, is flat, except south of the equator on a globe, you wouldn't connect to the north. You wouldn't correct to the north. You'd correct the south because you'd have to correct to the south. But guess what? We've talked to Navy captains, cargo ships. They're saying when they're trying to dead wreck in east or west in the southern oceans, they're always correcting to the north. Hmm. I mean, I don't know enough about like, you know, current and wind and, and shit like that. That's okay. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> they always correct. Nobody has gone, uh, has circumnavigated to the south, to the, to the south and come, ha come around. Now, have you ever uh, heard that theory that Antarctica is actually the ruins of like the ancient civilization of Atlantis, built the dude, pyramids, all that shit? I'm going to give, uh, hopefully I get your attention enough that you're willing to watch a very long video, right? I'm going to give it to you. You guys will have it. And then, um, and all I say is watch 10 minutes. I tried to do this before and it, it freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, no, no, this one is going to blow your mind. I say, <laughs> I say, I say so listen to me, my channel, D-I-T-R-H, it's the initials for deep inside the rabbit hole. My videos are all, almost every one of them is under five minutes, two minutes, right. one minute. I'm short video guy. Like, cause so I, I, I listened to you on Race Wars podcast with Kurt Mesker. Like oh, that's a long time ago, ago like man. 10 years ago, whatever it was. <laughs> and I was like, this guy is nuts. What the fuck is he talking about? And then you plugged some video. It was called like 300 Proofs to Earth. 200 Proofs by Eric Dubay. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, all right, I'm, I'll humor this asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I literally got like five minutes in. I just shut it off. I was like, I'm freaking out. Like, I don't, yeah, know, yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, I can't disprove any of this. Everything I know is a lie. Everything I know is true. We live in a simulator. I, it, I lost it, dude. It, it's absolutely true. So um, as I was saying, it, I say, watch 10 minutes of this video. And then if you're still interested, watch 10 more minutes. And if you watch the second 10 minutes, you're like, all right, I'm going to watch the whole thing because it's five <laughs> hours, right? I, I've watched it four times now, okay? Damn, it's, this... it's literally mind blowing. I just put it up my channel not that long ago. It's got 300,000 views on it and it's on, it's on hundreds of channels. Time? Okay. It's on hundreds of channels. Um, so where, where, where are we going? We're talking. Oh, so we, so what's beyond this ice shore? Well, our sun circles around in here. That's how we have this melted pond. I'll explain, I'll explain seasons and how that works in a second. What's out here. Well, if this is the inner space, what would this be? Outer, outer space. space. <laughs> outer space. Think of the world like your house. The whole your house is, That's is usually your entire world. world. That's how and I think of the world. You live on the inner space, but if you went outside beyond the walls, that's the outer space. But if outside. there was no, if you weren't allowed to go to the doors or windows and you weren't allowed to see anything, you wouldn't know there was anything else. We're in a prison and it's a prison for our mind, right? What if beyond Antarctica, there was extra land, more land, more extra, another word for more land, extra terrestrial, word, terrestrial, extra terra. Okay. So if somebody lived out here and they came here and then they went back, you know, somebody out here could say, Hey, guy wakes up in the morning, goes, Hey, uh, honey, you know, extra terrestrial, I got to go abduct some guy and probe him over in Australia. And he flies out he probes them, and then he comes back and he makes some time for dinner. So it's not they, coming from trillions of miles away. Trillions uh, is ridiculous. Are they keeping us in here then? We don't know. Maybe the controllers live out here. I don't know. Because if know. they're if they have the technology to do like that David Fravor like aircraft going from like zero to a million in a second, I don't. Well, like, they probably have like they have more advanced. A, a, they have advanced yeah. propulsion, like this whole burning of fossil fuel. Fossil fuel is another. Who joke. does Biden work for? <laughs> Biden doesn't work for anybody. Biden's just a freaking retard. Okay? <laughs> so 
so so <laughs> they probably have anti-gravitic you know uh, uh, technology free energy technology I'm, i guarantee they do but they don't even need it because you can take a freaking dc-10 and fly out here this isn't that far look from here to here it would not i mean from santiago to australia is longer okay what's mm -hmm. that break in the wall so these, this could be a, an opening that opens up at certain times of the year. These are uncharted Bob, waters Bob out here. GPS will not let you go here, okay? If you're using GPS, you'll never end up over here. And there's and stories- the S, the S is not satellites, right? There's no such thing as satellites, I'm assuming? GPS, ground positioning system. Okay. Right? Here's a, here's a, uh, a map that was found in Hawaii, 10 centuries old from Japan, showing a few extra continents out here. What's up with that? Okay. They're stupid. Maybe. <laughs> well, is, is, that, is that your best globe proof? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, never guessing stupid? like there's some other stuff. Over what about there. that? What about that? Thing? I gotta ask. Everybody's everybody watched that stupid documentary on Netflix. What about that laser thing that failed? What's up with that? Yeah. So so that's called um the that was um the Netflix uh, behind the curve, which was a uh, a total hit piece. And what they did is it was done on purpose. Um, they edited it. So the, the laser experiment was this. We had a canal. Um, I think it was- we, Wait, was that actually you? Uh, I was involved in it. I wasn't oh, there. Oh, shit. My co-host, Jaron, was there. It was the one that set it up. And here's the, it was a great experiment. We got, um, we got big sheets of cardboard, uh, plywood, and we had um, holes about this big drilled in them. And we used the, the canal to make sure they were all level. And if the earth is curved, the middle one should be higher than the two outer ones. And you should so be able you to- So you tried to recreate an experiment? We tried to do an experiment. Yeah, but which one? I mean, what are you saying? The so one you're trying to recreate the, was he's, he's trying to recreate the Bedford level experiment? No, no, no. See, the Bedford level is different because if, if, you're, if you're shooting from one, if you're shooting what you could be aiming down a little bit or you could be aiming up a little bit and that'll get it off. But if you had these holes all the way around the earth, no, you can shoot the laser through two of them, but you couldn't shoot it through three of them because they're far enough apart. Well, yeah. Well, right. the, the 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 measurements uh, per mile is uh, the is eight inches for the first mile, and then it's um thirty two inches for the second mile. So there's plenty of there. But the problem was we had this expensive five thousand watt laser, and we had a condenser because lasers spread out, and so we had this condenser, and it it, it condensed it so much it melted. And so the laser broke before we could even do the experiment. And it's nighttime. Netflix is the one, that, not Netflix, the, the people that were making this, um, they were filming it. They, were, they agreed to give us all of the footage. We're like, hey, you can come film us, but we want all the footage because doing these experiments, there's a lot going on. And it's like, wow, this is something off of our hands. They can do it. So, <clears throat> so we can't use the laser. So we're like, all right, hold the light. And we hold the light at the hole. And he's like, I don't see anything. And they hold it up. And he holds it up. He goes, yeah, now I see it. And Jaron goes, huh, that's interesting. Cut. That's where they cut it. Then he brings it back down again. And he goes, oh, I still see it. That didn't make the movie. Yeah. Everyone there. And now not. we, now, now we, we, that would lead to believe that there is no curvature, but we all agreed there's too many variables. There was flat earthers there and globers there. Everyone walked away going, the experiment proved nothing, even though it kind of proved the earth was flat, left that out of the movie we said give us the footage they're like oh no no we signed a deal with netflix we can't give it to you so and we're, in a, were, we're in a lawsuit with them oh nice yeah. well good luck on that i hope you guys win that'd be yeah i mean it's not proof. gonna go anywhere it, it's um, like they're 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 just dicks but and you then, were just talking about how like the difference between like a mile is like 17 inches or whatever eight, eight inches for the first mile you have to square the miles because right. you can't say it's eight inches per mile because that would be a ramp right right because so if you're on a ball and then i i understand it drops like, down so you right. have to square the miles now people um, now the globers will say well that's a parabola yeah it is after a thousand miles it starts getting off whack you don't need to go a thousand miles you can't see a thousand yeah. miles you can't see you can't see far enough you really can't see that far at all here's right. an example here's Hang an example. On, i, I did want to ask you a question right quick um so it's just based on that same thing you were just talking about yeah um so i used to work for the man or we'll call him direct tv you know those uh, lying those lying scumbags yeah. <laughs> they fired me so fuck yeah. them yeah, yeah uh but so when i used to set up the dish like you had to use like a stupid little thing and like point the dish in a, the right what did you spot. point it at what did they tell you to point it at it was like so nice. many degrees this way and like so many degrees no you know it had a little could you be like, pointing it at a radio tower i don't believe so because it was very like the the angle was like higher than like you know yeah. if you looked where you were pointed you were there's nothing there 
Yeah. It was like straight up in the air. So, and, and they said if you were off by like one inch, it was like a thousand miles by the time it got to wherever it was going. Absolutely. But, we had that when we do our laser experiments for but sure. Every, every house, it had to be like a slightly different, you know, because depending on where you were. So we were all pointing at the same thing. You know, like if I did a house in like Buffalo, I had to program like point it differently than if I did a house in Rochester. So you know what I'm saying, yeah. So here, here's what, um, there, so what there, was I pointing them at? There are some I mean? whistles. I'll tell you what you're pointing at. You're pointing it at. So we believe that um, that or most people believe there is. They call it the um, ionosphere, but we believe there's a there's a dome above us. Okay, and that dome has some interesting properties. And uh, there's been some whistleblowers that have told us that there's the dome has a is a is positively charged. The Earth is negatively charged, and they could they could I, I forget what they hit is it with. The dome a, made of like material. Well, it's don't. It's like it could be ice. It could be frozen oxygen. It could be glass. We don't okay. know. We don't know. Is this some men in black scenario. No, we're we're in a locker somewhere. So so no. Well, <laughs> I like that. I like that. that. That's basically they're bouncing signals off a spot on the zone. They're 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 sending a signal up, bouncing it off. You're catching that bounce. That's all. Okay. Yeah, they said that the satellite moved in like a figure eight pattern almost. There is no figure eight So you eight had pattern. to keep it in like this little area. If you went outside the area, you wouldn't get the signal. Yeah, you're pointing it at something. Now, there are balloons. You know, you know that NASA is the largest consumer of helium in the world, and they launch tens of thousands of satellites on balloons, but they don't really tell you about that. Um, but the, the whole idea of satellites is the most idiotic, ridiculous thing ever. I mean... You've seen the, the images of, you know, we have like, first they were saying there's 30,000 satellites and they're changing it, 25,000 satellites. They don't know how many satellites are up there. This is what's supposedly going on, right? So do you know what a geostationary satellite, that you would be pointing it at a geostationary satellite, right? Right. Yeah. So, it's one that doesn't circle the globe. Yeah, well, the, the one, that, Earth, whatever. one that follows the Earth, right? One that actually... Um, stays above the same land. So let's pretend this satellite here is a geostationary satellite. So it has to rotate with, as the Earth turns, it has to rotate with the Earth because if the Earth rotated around, it would be moving. Or if it was going around the Earth, it's going, it's at the right height where its speed, it matches the Earth. So it just goes around, right? You with me? Yeah. That's what it, That sounds crazy. But you have to remember, the Earth is doing this. It's spinning at a thousand miles an hour. It's orbiting at 66,600 miles an hour, funny number, right? It's speeding up and slowing down in that orbit throughout the year. It's chasing the sun at over a half a million miles per hour. And somehow all of these satellites magically mirror all of those, those ridiculous speeds and angles and turns. It's, it's Isn't it kind of more like dumb luck? Like we just no, accidentally it's the dumbest thing ever. It. It's not dumb luck. It's the it's dumbest. This is so confusing that you you can't even process it you're like well maybe maybe they so, figured it out do you believe in religion um no i'm not a, i'm not a religious person at all absolutely not i was a pretty much full on okay. atheist before i discovered that the earth was intelligently designed and then once you realize the earth is intelligent, intelligently designed you realize there's a creator who's that creator figure it out yourself i have no idea so there's it's some Spielberg. kind of religion aspect to it no absolutely religion is well, a dogma yeah I, i'm talking about Creation. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Are you guys on a computer right now? Are you on a computer? Yeah. Adam, you on a computer? Yeah. Do you believe somebody made that computer or that it was made by a random accident explosion? <laughs> I mean, someone made it, but I mean, okay. it somebody a made a random it. explosion. Yeah. Well, well, here's the story. Here's the story. You go back far <laughs> enough, it did. It's like, Here, well, here's know. the story of the world. Once upon a time, there was nothing, and then it exploded and created everything. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard, but yeah. I'll give it to you. Then all of a sudden, all of the rocky bits started sticking together because of this magical force they call gravity, which is unproven theory, which is ridiculous. And they all started getting the bigger and bigger and bigger balls. But somehow all of the gases, all the helium, all the hydrogen decided to coalesce into bigger gas balls and leave a fucking vacuum. In between, yeah, no, I, a I vacuum. I'm too dumb. So, I'm too dumb to understand. No, you're science not too dumb. Religion. You're, you're, but you're, what I want, what, it, why does shit fall when I drop it? I'm going to explain that, that in a second. So you have a vacuum. You have gas balls burning in a vacuum. Gas balls, you know, our sun gas balls holding on to Venus and Mercury and the Earth and Mars, and it's just holding on to all of these distant rocks somehow. But all of those rocks are holding on to their own moons, and the sun doesn't pull the moons away. 
It's the dumbest thing ever. You look at the three body problem, forget it. Okay. None of it makes any sense. So get, get, you want to go to gravity. Gravity is, is um, why, why do things go down? And the answer is because there's two answers and they, they kind of both go together. Um, the earth um, things are more dense. Like if I had a handful of ping pong balls and rocks and a helium balloon and I held them over a pool and I dropped them, the helium balloon would go up, the ping pong ball and rocks would go down, the rocks would go to the bottom of the pool and the helium uh, and, the, and the ping pong balls would sit on the top of the pool, okay? So why do they go down though? The buoyancy and density sort everything else out. Well, testably, Provably, our damn, Earth, I, I gotta come up with a question you don't have a slide for. Dude, sure. he, here's the answer. There's only a certain number of questions, and you don't. Dude, you have got one. so many slides. I'm bro. telling you. So the Earth has a lava? negative. The Earth has a negative charge to it. It has a testable, measurable negative charge. The Earth doesn't move. Period. It doesn't move. Right. The dome has a positive charge. So it, it's a dielectric um, uh, uh, plane that we live on. And when you come off the earth, there's electricity in the air, there's voltage in the air. There's a, there's a hundred volts, a hundred volts or a thousand volts, a hundred volts at, um, at one meter. And it goes up by a hundred volts every meter. So there's all this voltage in the air and the negative charge of the earth says, Hey, down is this way. I has, it's a weak charge. Just like they say, gravity is a weak force. Well, so the negative charge of the earth is a weak force. Yeah, it's more of a and then it says down is this way. Everybody push. point down. Everyone, down is down, okay? Australia, down is not up. Down is down. Australia is over there, okay? Right? So, so everything goes down, and then buoyancy and density sort everything else out after that. And now, how can we test this hypothesis? Is the moon round? It looks round, doesn't it? But we'll talk about the moon. Let's just finish this. So here's a, a, this tinfoil triangle. We put a negative charge in it. As soon as that negative charge is stronger than the Earth's negative charge, it goes up. Is that defying gravity or is it defying some other electrical magnetic charge of the earth? Electricity uh -huh. and magnetism are the only true forces on earth. All right, I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna show you four moons and quickly before the hand grabs them, tell me two of them are spheres. Is that one a sphere? Yeah. yeah. Well, kind of half a sphere, that's kind of, a, how about this one? Is this one a sphere? Looks like yeah. one. Yeah. What if I, I mean, told you it was flat? They look like them, yeah. It I looks mean, like a sphere, but it's not. It's a good paint job. How about this one? You could shade. How about this one? But can't we see like different sides yeah. of other planets? What like, a, what, no, you can't. It's all bullshit. I'll we show only you what ever you see, see now, the same though. side. Yeah. So, so I lied. Only one of them's a ball. Um, no, come so on. No, no, like no I can't believe trick. anything you said. Well, the reason you I lied is because here. when you get down, to <laughs> you, you figure it out after a while. So I keep you guessing this way. So, so. There are no photos of Earth. There are no photos of other planets. This is what NASA yeah, shows you. Yeah. And this is what the highest zoom lenses show you. Okay. Well, what about what the, the Mars rover and stuff? The Mars rover. Yeah. Really? There was, there's like three really going Come on, there. dude. That's, he, you know he's got slides for you. You really go. Don't ask any slide questions. Right, I don't hold want on, to I'm just saying there's proof. There's like photos and videos and stuff. Yeah, but I know not. Like they All that shit is fake. There's not. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna just say it's fake. I'm gonna show you how it's fake. Why can't you say God damn it? I should have booked him for a two hour interview, dude. We'll go a little longer if you want. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go a little longer if you want. But you have to let me answer because we're, we're getting ahead. So, and I'm, okay. I'm pretty quick at uh, handing the ball back. You're asking a question, I'm gonna fucking answer it. All right. That's Obviously. what I'm talking about. I'm I appreciate hoping. that too because yeah. I know you got your whole spiel all. all so here's a picture here. from NASA's website from Mars, and you can tell it's from Mars because they got a little selfie, right? This came out. It was in like all the. It was in National Geographic. Well, here's a picture from Greenland. So for the people you listening, see any the exact similarities? Same, the exact same picture. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting right. we're talking to. It's all good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Oh, I'll give you. I'll, I'll put this. Piece I'll put this on. Uh, I'll put this on my YouTube channel. I'll give you a link. You can link it below the the video if anybody wants to go and see what this crazy guy's talking about. All right. This is the same <laughs> shot. They just blurred out the clouds, put a sepia tone on it, and that's that's what they're showing you as Mars. They're busted right there. We also. Somehow on Google Earth and on Devon Island, we saw, we found the Mars, the, the rover and the NASA truck, and the, the, there's pictures of it on Google Earth. That's pretty And they're like, well, that's job. where we're training. You know, why are they going all the way up to Greenland? Okay, to train, right? Why, why, why are they doing that? 
But when uh, he, here, I'm, I'm showing you now, and I encourage anyone to go look at it. What I'm showing you is a video of us landing that rover on the moon the other day or a couple months ago that has the helicopter on it. What I'm showing you now is the only proof, the only proof that we landed something on Mars, right? And what I'm showing you, I'll tell you that Cartman and Kyle and uh, and the rest of the gang are Kenny, laughing Kenny, at this. Stan, Kenny, Stan. And Stan. They're laughing at Butters. this. They're like, they're Stan like, Stan Marsh. <laughs> this is the dumbest. This is the only proof. Yeah, that I watched this. this. I watched this. this. Is, yeah, it looks like this. my Xbox. No, it doesn't. Don't this. insult your Xbox. Dude, I thought it looks yo, like my I, I thought I was watching this live. And everyone was cheering when they landed, and I was I was cheering. I was like, "We did it, boys! We did it!" I sent it on Snapchat, and it was like it was a replay. It was a rerun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, look, but what are you Fucking what are you it. cheering at? Look at this. This is a movie production. It's Mars, this, man. This is not Mars. This is bullshit. Well, that's okay? what that's like a animation. But look at them working hard right now. Yeah, those guys all sitting there with their look at those people with their double masks on, suffocating to death. Oh, come on, okay, come on. Yeah, and then and then when it, I'm not going to even wait for it to land. Look at this freaking thing. Also, the, they tell us the the atmosphere on Mars is one percent of Earth. So we've had people skydive like Felix Baumgarten, um, and when you when you jump from eighty thousand, hundred thousand feet, uh, your parachute won't even open until like fifty or sixty thousand feet. Okay. Helicopters can't fly to the top of Mount Everest because the air is too thin, right? This helicopter that they flew on Mars and this parachute that this thing parachuted down in would be like at 150,000 feet. We can't even get a helium balloon up to 150,000 feet, right? But somehow they got a helicopter and a parachute to work in that thin atmosphere. They lie so horribly, put it right in front of our faces and, and people are like, uh, nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care as George Carlin would say. Hmm. Okay, look, they're clapping, they're jumping. This has to be real. Look at this. This is real. I right thought on. it was. Yeah. This is a bunch of shills and a bunch of kids fresh, fresh out of space camp. This is what Mars really looks like when you take today's consumer optics, which have outgrown their lies. Looks like this, the sun. It looks like uh, well, what is the sun? So a fire. Have you ever Sorry. looked at um have you ever heard of star in a jar? When you when they they put sound waves is that, into, is that that website where they sell you like Matthew no. McConaughey's cum? No, no, right. no. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so where they um well it shows little suns <laughs> will appear in the water, little bursts of light from putting sound into water. Well, why does NASA talk about everything in space like it's a, like it's the ocean, like ships and docking and the sea of tranquility and uh, all of it is journey is um nautical terms but when you look at stars this is the star arcturus does that look like a burning ball of hydrogen at ridiculous distances away oh, we'll so. talk about distance in a second right here's the star Cap capella i think that well, that's supposed to be like the shimmering from the atmosphere right quote unquote does this look like the shimmering from the atmosphere does this look like something that you don't even understand this i mean is i don't like even understand the atmosphere yeah. <laughs> right and so this is and they all have their own little personalities so these things are are orbs of energy they're here within our earth system but let's let's talk about distance for a, for a moment okay do you know that the <clears throat> the closest star is 25 trillion miles away. The closest star, is other that than our sun. The sun? Oh, all right. Other than our sun. <clears throat> the closest star is 25 trillion miles away. So if we if we look at um, our sun. Wait, our is that sun, light? Light years? Or well, we're, we're, light years, miles, light years is just a distance uh, light travels in a year. It goes 1,186,000 right. miles a second. And a light year is that for a year, the number of number of seconds in a year. So, okay. so they tell us our sun is giant and our earth is a little tiny dot next to it, right? So imagine if the sun was just a mile over your head, just for modeling purposes, you're not gonna burn up, okay? You looked up in the sky, it fills the entire sky. Then we move it to where they say it is. You guys know how far the sun is? 93 3. million 2. miles away. What? 93 million miles away. 93 million, very good. So you move it, 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 it fills up the whole sky, you move it away and it gets smaller due to Distance. perspective, right? So it goes from filling the entire sky to the size of a nickel or a quarter at held, at held at arm's length, right? That's how you see the sun. It's just a small circle in the sky. If you double the distance, that's gonna get smaller. Some people say yep. it'll be half the size. I say it'll be smaller, but let's just be safe. 24 times farther 
its angular size would be too small to see. Period. Angular size is, you know, like aren't those like stars way bigger than our oh, sun? Though, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a very good question. I'm going right there. So follow, and you're smart enough because this is really easy. So 24. Uh, it, <laughs> you overestimate us, brother. <laughs> three, time, three times the distance that the sun is, you couldn't see it. But I'm just going to be super safe and say 24 times farther. 24 times farther is three light hours. Three light hours. It's two or three late hours. Let's say it's three late hours. That's fine. Okay. Sure. So, um, so the our North Star Polaris, they say, is um, forty six times bigger than our sun. Well, at three light hours, you couldn't see our our sun. So, if Polaris is forty six times, it's almost like forty eight, which is would be two days. Two days times three hours, six light days away you could not see polaris scientifically we can prove with the size that they tell us polaris is at six light days away we'll round up to a week a light week away you could not see it magnitudes over they tell us polaris is 433 light years away years these numbers are so big your minds melt and you have no idea you just give up and you get confused and you go oh, I'll just leave it to the guy in the bow tie who's a liar he's a failed Yeah I, I was going to say I kind of lost it can we move on to like lava and natural no, gas No hang on Yeah uh, we can move on to lava <laughs> like <laughs> how, how do you I explain didn't know there that? Was, I didn't know there was light weeks and days Well a, a light day there's three there's three yeah, there's light years there's light days and a light there's year be light very minutes. Simple. I just never there, heard it before There's light seconds there 1186,000 miles okay and, and the fact that you can't, they, te they don't teach you to think in school, right? That's why people like, I'm, I'm just talking simple things here. Here, I'll make it simple for you. If Thank I was you. to pay you guys a dollar <laughs> every second, nonstop, how long until you had a trillion dollars? One trillion. One I'll trillion. Like a couple days, right? A couple days, for, close. No, it, how, how much am I getting paid? One, how long until you have one trillion dollars that I pay you a dollar a second? One Two, one trillion three, seconds or one trillion seconds. <laughs> hey, don't do, do, get, get off the computer. Use your mind, Adam. I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> the answer wrong is Peaches, Peaches got the right take, answer. Take a guess, one guess, trillion seconds. Guess, it was like guess, a, guess, a, going 60 miles per hour. Day, if you get it within a day, I'll give you a Bitcoin. Ready? Take a guess. Come on Wait, for a Bitcoin. Five, five days. Five days. I missed it. I missed it. What, what how, how long is one trillion seconds? I want to say like 10 years. 10 years. Very close. 31,000 years. You were not okay. close that, at That's all. what I thought. 31,000 <laughs> years. Just think about I that. I wanted to say thousands. One fucking trillion seconds is longer than your family history a thousand times over. Okay? Sure. Maybe. Like, it's ridiculous. The closest star is, four and a, is 25 trillion miles away. Think about this. This is they, they, they purposely give you these giant numbers so your mind melts and you don't ever think about it. You don't live on a spinning ball moving ridiculous speeds. You know, next year, tonight, same night, next year, we're four and a half billion miles from where, four and a half billion miles from where we were today. But you look up and the stars will be exactly the same, exactly the same in the exact same place. How the fuck is that possible? Couldn't it just be like a scale thing? Like how they say like the, the pyramids line this up with a, the stars well, yeah, but, like every every like 70,000 years so Egypt was either built like 70,000 or 140,000 or 100 like couldn't it be something like that no. like they, they tell us we're actually us, way farther you know, away the, than we the thought the pyramid lines up with Polaris right now and they said 40,000 years ago it lined up with another star so we just happened I thought 40,000 years ago it also happened to lined live up. in the time where it was it lined up with the other star not none no one no one has any record of it lining all up. all right before. i want to know i want to know for real like where the pair do you know where the pyramids actually came from no one no no and then it wasn't the egyptian the egyptians um you know when they, they say that's all nonsense they're hiding our history you guys ever heard of tataria i uh, think i that's tataria like was the, a the massive civilization right? civilization here in the 1800s our entire friggin' history is a lie. We are not at the peak of civilization. Fine. We are one step, probably not even one step away from idiocracy at this point. The 1800s? The 1800s was an advanced worldwide civilization. But then the, a cataclysm happened, mud flood, not to what it was. Like 200 years ago. Mud 150. flood. <laughs> 150. <laughs> Done. I, I interviewed well, Japan's, mud flood. Japan's culture is older than that. I interviewed a uh, well, that's that's the story, right? 
Um, I interviewed a woman from uh, 102 years old back in February 2020, and she had such a great memory when she was a child. I asked her what she was taught in school in the 1920s in elementary school, and she and I never mentioned flat earth. And she goes, they taught me that the earth was flat. I said, what did they teach you about the earth? She goes, they taught me the earth was flat. And I told her the whole story about it, brought her to tears. Video went viral. And I said to everybody, we don't have much time. We need to go to old age homes and interview centenarians, people over 100 years old. And Fuck literally, that's the an next, awesome word. What's literally, it, what centenarians. Cent- centenarians. Dude, that would be a great band. Name. And then, and then uh, <laughs> literally the next week, they shut down all old age homes that so nobody can go there, COVID. Okay, nobody can go there. Okay, wait. So you caused the lockdowns? Very possible. Very what the possible. fuck, Dave? Can't, can't rule it out. Can't rule <laughs> it out. I had I had concert tickets. I didn't get to use asshole. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I about missed that. What shows. concert? What concert was it? I, I do. Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> nice. Dude, they're they're, Rage, they're great in concert. I where are you guys? I located? wouldn't know. <laughs> are you on the East Coast or Buffalo? Yeah, yeah. Buffalo. Buffalo. All yeah. right. Um, you asked about lava. You want to go to lava? Or should we ask the what now question? <laughs> yeah, well, let me, let me, I, I want to show you, I, I made an app that, uh, that shows you how to learn about flat earth, if you're interested in learning about flat earth, but um, I'll, I'll quickly do lava. So they tell us that the center of the earth is molten lava and that all these layers and all of this crap. Well, you know, the deepest hole ever dug, it's called the Great Borehole in, uh, it was it was in Russia. That's, that's what yeah, I call my wife. So, yeah. He knows. <laughs> it got so Ooh. deep that the pressure, it couldn't take it, and it was too hot and shit like that. And yeah. they could, well, basically they can't get below um, just, just short of eight miles, seven and three quarter yeah. miles, whatever. So the deepest hole ever dug was eight miles, short of eight miles. And they used ground penetrating radar as they dug to see what they're gonna hit next. And they were wrong every step of the way. So for the first eight miles, they couldn't predict what they were going to hit next, but for the next 4,000 miles, they know what's down there for sure. Okay. So that's bullshit. Okay. So what is lava? Well, the only, as I said earlier, the only true you got slides, forces, bro. I told the you only true forces, <laughs> the only true forces are electricity and magnetism. Well, when you put these are ceramic blocks, when you put high voltage through them, what happens to the freaking rocks? They turn into lava. Okay, so lava doesn't come out of cone shaped volcanoes like you see on TV. There's no cone shaped volcanoes. Okay, there's lava tubes. There's lava tubes going through the earth as a capacitor. The sun and the moon are the are the uh, the the anode and the cathode and anode. And there's all of this electricity in the earth. And these basically just think of it as current going through the earth and it makes these lava tubes and the lava moves around through the earth. It's all electrical. It's not you know, so do we have thermal deep underground military bases? We do just... all over the place, more than you know. There's probably civilizations underneath us. Hell yeah, dude! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I want to know. But we're not on a spinning ball flying through an infinite space vacuum. That's just, that's ridiculous. I never said we were, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me uh, let me share my screen here and show you this. Um, this is for people that want to learn about the the um what the flat Earth is. So. Um, Because if you Google Flat Earth, you're going to end up at the Flat Earth Society, which Obama plugged six times during his So we're getting propaganda on top of propaganda. All nonsense. So let me just show you. We live in the the world pond, okay? I'm going to show you how seasons work. And once you understand this, then you're going to be like, oh, fuck, right? The Earth isn't a ball. So we have three circles here. The inner circle is the Tropic of Cancer. I'm sure you've heard that. The outer circle is the Tropic of Capricorn and the middle line, which is harder to see, the red line is the equator. Well, the sun, you see it's about halfway between the Tropic of Cancer and the equator. It circles around. If I speed it up, it goes around once a day. The sun keeps track of the hours and the days. And you can see it's not pinned to the hour hand because we're in fake daylight savings time right now. So it's, it's, they're lying to us about the time to literally throw off our body clocks. It, th- that's true. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so check this out. That's the true, sun. Yeah. If you look, it's catching up to the moon. Fuck daylight it, will, savings time. it will lap the moon. Yeah. You know what daylight savings is? It's like having a blanket. And you're like, hey, you know what? My feet are cold. So I'm going to cut a foot off the top of the blanket. So it's at the bottom of the blanket. So my feet could be warmer. Okay. It's the dumbest <laughs> thing ever. As you see, the sun is catching up to the moon. <laughs> And it will lap the moon every 28 days. So is that right? when an eclipse happens? So, well, eclipse happens when it hits a nodal point, And we can get to eclipses next if you want. Um, He's got slides I've got slides. slides. Dude. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. I've got <laughs> slides. So, so, I was just curious if that's when it happens. Yeah, well, that's, it, it does happen whenever there's a new okay. moon, when a, a solar eclipse. But um, 
the moon used to the, it keeps track of the weeks and the months. Months used to be called moons, and there used to be 13 of them of 28 days, but they hijacked that also. Slow it down, turn the, the sky, the, 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 the sun, the, not the sun, the stars on. The stars are doing the same thing. They spin around, they're fixed in their position, and they lap the sun only once a year. Think about that. They lap it only once a year, so they're slightly outrunning the, su the sun. So right now, the sun is moving out of Cancer and into Leo. And it'll work its way through Leo over the next month and move on, and then the whole thing will reset after a year. So why am I showing you all this? I'm showing you this because the sun migrates in between the two tropics, six months out, six months in. So we just passed the peak of our inner northern summer when the sun was over the tropic of cancer and now it's working its way out i'll jump it forward one two three four five six months forward and it goes all the way out to well don't i, I went a little too far um let me turn let me go back all right so the sun if i bring it back to whoops look at me hitting, hitting all, all kinds of buttons Oh, look at that, oh, man. Shit. That's, a, that's a crazy slot. What a question. Right, so, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me just finish <laughs> this, this real quick. So, so as uh, so what am I, April, May, June. So in June, it's over the Tropic of Cancer. And that's when we have our summer. If you follow that line around, look, it goes right over Miami, uh, Mexico, Southern California. It's friggin' hot there. That's because the sun is close. It's over their heads. It's not yeah. far away. But Australia is having their summer. I mean, having their winter, winter. The sun is far away. But if I move the sun to um, to uh, November, December, when it's out over the Tropic of Cancer, well, we're having our winter up here in the north in Buffalo. It's fucking cold because the sun is far away from us. Australia is going to have their summer at the same time because it goes right over them. Imagine it's Buffalo. It's December. We're sitting. Two of us are sitting outside, 15, 20 feet apart. As the Bills playoff prospects. What the hell are we doing sitting outside? It's fucking cold. Then somebody Don't comes bills, over. <laughs> somebody comes over to one of us <laughs> and holds a a heat lamp over our heads. Okay, and so over one of my so the person underneath the heat lamp is like ah it's warm. They look up. The sun's high in the sky. Move it over to the other person. It's now lower in the sky, and that person's warm because it's over them. It's farther away from the other person. Winter, summer, winter, summer. That's how it works. All right. See, so real quick, and the then let, me get, let me get out of the app. Here's the challenge. I'm offering three Bitcoins for one proof of the globe. But here's the challenge. How much is a Bitcoin nowadays? It's like 33,000 bucks. I think it's like 27 now. It oh, is it 27? That's why I'm offering three. I was, was offering two before. Tough day today. Tough okay, day, bud. Tough day. It's all right. It's, it's all right. I'll Wait. take all. I'll take all, man. So, so check this out. Every day there's a new featured video. And I say, you have to click this thumbnail, watch it every day for two weeks, short ones during the week, longer ones on the weekends. And after that two weeks, if you still think the earth is a globe, send me one proof and you win the coins. But before you do, you have to hit this question mark button and there come all of the questions. Hey, what about eclipses? What about gravity? What about seasons? What about ships over the horizon? If I oh, hit, you should like, have showed us this first so we didn't ask all these stupid yeah, questions. If I hit <laughs> ships over the horizon, <laughs> <laughs> Up comes a playlist that Google doesn't want you to see, right? These are videos this that you won't be able to find, okay? Well, yeah, that's liberal media yeah. for you, bud. Yeah, no kidding. The censorship <laughs> is, it is, it is 1984. George Orwell is rolling over in his grave. Um, yeah. uh, under the web button, uh, bottom right, mud floods, Tataria. Transcontinental railroads were not built. They were excavated, Okay. Our interview will be here under interviews, okay? Um, plug, your, plug your YouTube channel again. My YouTube channel is the initials for Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. It's just D-I-T-R-H, the initials for Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. But again, they're also it's also linked in the app. You hit the web button, uh, short, flat earth videos, D-I-T-R-H. They're all linked in there. Um, if you are a Bible believer or not a Bible believer, I highly recommend hitting this biblical flat earth and see That's how everybody. that that stuff relates. It's mind blowing, right? The the video I was telling you about right here in the middle, the lost history of flat earth. This is the playlist. The first video is five hours. And that's the one that's that if one, you watch 10 minutes 10 of it, minute you'll watch one, another yeah. 10 minutes. And after that, you will not turn it off, right? Your head will explode and uh, you'll lose all your friends because you're now a flat earther. Um, so I can could, I could tell we're kind of wrapping up here. I did have a couple of yeah. questions. I yeah, go ahead. Real quick. Do you know the guy who punched Buzz Aldrin in the face? 
Yeah, that's uh, Bart Sabrell. And he is... Is he, he your belie- boy? Or? No, he's not. He um, he oh, believes boy. that the... I believe that he was handed that information. He might believe um, he's what he's doing, but he's he's pretty much a shell. Okay. I just wanted to know if you were friends with somebody who punched Buzz Aldrin in the face. No, I'm not. Kind of a- Regardless of what you think of the I, guy, I that's interviewed pretty sweet him. I interviewed him. That's a pretty dope accolade. That's impressive on the resume. Have yeah. you ever punched any astronauts in the face? Um, I have not. I have not. But I would if I saw one. Given the the chance, would you accept like a free ride in a spaceship? Given the chance, you know, would you let me turn you into a fairy princess? Because there's a yeah, greater yes. chance of that happening. There is no <laughs> space. Space doesn't exist. I'm just saying, if somebody offered it to you, would yeah. you think they were just going to kill you? No, well, like, it's what? not going to happen. No, one, we can we can prove the Earth is a globe by doing my uh, my around Antarctica trip, right? And right. and no, well, what if they're like, ever doing? Great. So let me. I'll so the scenario it. here is Bezos comes up to you. He's like, Dave, listen, you're fucking up my money. You're right, and I'm going to prove this. Right? You want to see the flat Earth? Come in my spaceship. Would you go? There, there are no spaceships. There is no space race. Werner von Braun was a Nazi scientist that was brought over here. Supposedly, he's just an actor. Um, to run NASA. Well, Werner von Braun in 1957 wrote a book called Project Mars, right? About a group of people that went to Mars uh, in this rocket ship. And it was led by a guy named Elon. (laughs) This is the rocket that Elon wants to go to Mars with. But a couple months ago, he tweeted, I want to redesign it and make it pointier. They're mocking us, okay? They're mocking us. So the the offer changes to jump in my terrestrial ship we're gonna go meet the people on the other side of the space wall or the the, the, the arctic wall like would you take that would you, i mean you know it, what i'm saying it, it's kind of a weird it's kind of a weird question you know like I go, wouldn't you want to know like sure i, know, I, but yeah, well, I just they're not gonna tell us it. they're not gonna tell us this, this, this so why the lie why 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 would they lie right it's i not saw that slide money. i didn't want to ask that what? <laughs> i saw you had that in your questions that everybody asks category back there i didn't want to ask why would they lie i just want to know if they offered you the opportunity to like see the other side of the wall would you say yes or would Who's you assume they're going to kill you what, what are those, I, I need the details i need details and like like if they're trying to kill me i i don't know that I well, you can't say think... who's offering. You've been saying they this whole time. It's the same they, the 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 great they, the you know the pre they. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? as long like... as somebody important from their side was coming, like we have a challenge to right. uh, to Neil deGrasse Tyson or any any astrophysicist or whatever um, that put us put. We'll go, you know, give us a a um, a, a spacesuit and put us in the vacuum chamber and take all the air out. It's never been done. They've never tested a spacesuit in a vacuum chamber. It would explode. Like, yeah. as we all I mean, know. Go, going around the South pole is that that's it. Like if you, if you could prove like Captain Cook did, you know yep. what I'm saying? So if Captain Cook went around the South pole, it took 60 fucking times longer than going around the North pole. That's it right there. Like that's game over. Yeah. That was my I, biggest question. Like, so I mean, if that's true, and that's another thing is like you, you're basically telling me like I've been lied to my entire life. Everything I've ever heard. Your entire is wrong. life is a lie. Yeah. So but it, at the same time, I don't know if you're also lying to me. Well, like, I gotta so, assume so you're here's lying the thing. to me don't too, believe, right? That's fair. Don't believe anything I say. Nothing. Okay. But these are flight routes. When from Santiago, Chile, it goes all the way up to the East Coast, over to the West Coast, and then all the way down. And it's worse if you want to go to Western Australia. It goes all the way up here. It goes all the way over to friggin' China, Singapore, and down. Why does it do that? Why does it just cut across the bottom of the ball yeah, why around the edge of Antarctica? Across. And the answer is this, because on a flat Earth, if I wanted to go to Western Australia, look at the line. It goes all the way up across the United States, China, Singapore, straight line. Airplanes fly straight and level over an earth plane. If you look at, um, you know, the, the FAA manual, CIA documents, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. There's well, like those the documents where they talk manual. about, they model everything over a flat non-rotating plane. Let's just talk about Southern circumnavigation. This guy with this called the ZQ pilot, not long ago, a few years ago, said he's going to Southern circumnavigate and win the world record. We're like, okay. And he had this whole way we can track them. He went from the North Pole over to Alaska, to California, over to these islands, these islands, and over to Santiago. Then he went here to the supposed South Pole, and he goes, oh, the weather was too bad. So he turned around, went up through Brazil, yeah. and went all the way back around. I'm like, all right, well, he didn't do it. They gave him the record for circumnavigation, for Southern circumnavigation, right? That's not Southern circumnavigation. He just literally made a trip around the pond, touched the flagpole, you know, touched the pole, and then went back. There is no South Pole. There's a North Pole. There is no South Pole. 
Yeah, wouldn't the South Pole also be magnetic? Why Absolutely. Is Compasses don't work in Antarctica. GPS doesn't work in Antarctica. Right? I never really thought about that. That doesn't really make sense that only the North Pole is Only magnetic. the North Pole, right. And on a ball, how, you know, if you're down South, why is your magnet, why is it still pointing North? It would be pointing into the Earth. Yeah, you guys should focus more on that. Have you ever, well, has anybody ever made The ballers have an answer has for anybody, everything. Has anybody ever made answer. a spherical compass? No, there is no such thing as a spherical compass. Because then wouldn't it point like up and down and instead of just round in a circle, it would be able to have like the third dimension to prove that you're pointing into the earth. Like you just Dude, said. Th- that's... <laughs> That'd be wild. Dude, you should, you, you got people, you could back that. Somebody <laughs> should make a spherical compass. Because he, then you go got to, four Bitcoins. Dude, then you go to like montana and you point you see where it's pointing and you go to the southern tip of texas and you see it's pointing way further south do you guys believe like, in the proof. space station oh harris <laughs> <laughs> i mean i, I mean harris. my whole life's a sham so apparently i get paid for nothing so like harris it makes, doesn't matter harris makes parts for the space station <laughs> well so good <laughs> you, you're you're right your life is a sham the nasa is a job <laughs> program <laughs> that's a fucking joke There's so bro. many Wait. NASA, when Where they did the Saturn V rockets to the moon, they hired 100,000 different companies to make the parts. That way, everybody could say, oh, my grandfather, my father, whatever, worked on it. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. So parts Nothing just go in the trash? Space. Nothing goes to space. Look, like the parts he makes at work just go right in the no, trash. No, they, they, right? they might use them for something. They, you know, people that make satellites, the satellites, they all go up on balloons, right? People are like, what do you mean? NASA owns all of the freaking helium companies in the world, all of the big ones, right? So there's a helium shortage. You know, they don't want you to know. That's why, it, that's why the Hindenburg happened. No, the Hindenburg, yeah, because they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know. Because nobody else airships. had helium except they, for the they, US. Well, no, they, they, they demonized hydrogen and then, then there's this helium shortage. So no one's going to start a dirigible company because that would Well, be, even at the, at the time, all the helium companies were owned by the United States. So the Hindenburg used hydrogen and it right. exploded because they had helium because we wouldn't give it to it's, them. It's a fake story. <laughs> I mean, it, it was all done on purpose, but. Wait, so that wasn't even believe. real? No, it wasn't it real. Did, was the Titanic real? No, absolutely not. I okay. mean, the, 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 I I'm, not, that, I'm not even sure something that, sank at this Your point. whole life is a sham. The, I told the, you. Everything is Has alive. everything ever happened? The Has CIA, ever, the, <laughs> the head, I, I forget the name, it's Casey, whatever, the head of the CIA said, they know their job will be complete when every single thing the American people, blow, people believe is a lie. Here's a question then. What has happened? Great question. He's but, got a slide. You know he's got a slide. I got man. another question. I used to think <laughs> Sully landed the plane on the Hudson River, but that didn't happen either. No, we talked about that. We've talked about that on the show. Fuck that guy. I've never flown a plane in my life, and I think I could successfully land one on a river. It doesn't seem that hard. Any yeah, trained but it didn't pilot, happen. It didn't happen. The whole story do, is ridiculous. Even if it did happen, we should have made this guy a hero. Any pilot could do that. It's there should be a million a pictures by by, by by that people guy. that live on both shorelines, and there's none. It didn't happen. All he did was crash. All he did was crash a plane. Even no, he landed happen, the plane him. pretty well. It was pretty good. It was a great story, but. It, it, you know, once you see Tom Hanks I acting in a that. movie, you you know that it's bullshit. Denzel Washington fucking flipped the bird and landed it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that was that a movie flight. Yeah, that, yeah. that didn't happen. Either. That was a movie that actually flight. happened. Yeah, that no. wasn't real. Yeah. Yeah, so let me let me tell you like, why hey. the lie. Why the lie? All right. So they yeah. want you to believe. They want you to believe that you're insignificant. That you're flying through an infinite, godless, or distant god universe. Um, where an asteroid could take you out, we're running out of fuel, we're running out of food, we're running out of water. All of that's nonsense. They want you to live in fear. Watch the news. Kim Jong Un is going to blow us up. Nuclear bombs don't exist. None of it is real what? because they. I'll, I'll explain. They don't. They don't want you to know that you are at the center of creation. That you are are special. That you have powers. That your thoughts create your reality. Everything each one of you have in your life is because of the way that you think. Okay, that's it. And, and you bring your reality in. The only control the government has over you, the government, govern is to control, meant is your mind. The only control they have you is Damn, in your imagination. Dude. If everyone woke up tomorrow- That's why those boards work. What boards? Those like imagination boards where you're like- They do. The future on they, them. They do. I did that. <laughs> I did that when I was like, when I was just working in corporate America, I did. I said, I want to own my own company. I got my own company. I was one a day I want to be on the company TikTok making podcast. tons of money and I did it with a vision board. You're right. It does work. The secret okay? is real, bro. And then I walked away from it all to talk to guys like you. Okay. 
crazy oh, story. Whoa, what do you mean, guys like us? Guys whoa. like you, like guys like you guys. Those dudes. <laughs> Listen, I did a show called Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. It was just like this, okay? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it's still online if you want to see it. I'm Deep Inside the Episode Wait. one out of 150 episodes is called 9-11 is Dave's Baby, okay? Oh, yeah. Baby. I'll listen to that I mean, tomorrow at work. It's, it's, it's audio yeah. only. Pick, you can pop an earphone in, yep. pull your hair over it. You're good to go. Anything better than working, dude. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so they want you to feel insignificant. They don't want you to know that you're at the center of creation and that you actually have power. Imagine if everyone uh, woke up tomorrow and goes, you know what? Fuck the government. I'm not listening to them anymore. Well, what power would they have? They'd have zero Anarchy. power. We wouldn't even know who they were. They'd be like, get away from me, you flea. Right. You, you know, they'd be nothing. Hell yeah, dude. They'd be nothing. Hell yeah. And so yeah. people are just complying. We're going back into this craziness. They're going to have us with our face, face chain muzzles on again. And they're locking us down. Everyone go, fuck you. Go to work, go outside and, and just move on. Right. All of this nonsense would go well, away. I you agree hundred percent that the coronavirus doesn't exist. The vaccine. Uh, don't say that. that. We love Dr. Fauci. He's going on YouTube. Fuck Dr. Right? Fauci. No, no, killed- no, Dr. Fauci is the greatest doctor ever. He's so good. He. Yeah, no, really- I agree. It was a good thing yes. he killed all those gay people in the he, 80s. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't say that. I want to put this on YouTube, all right? I want to put this on YouTube. We love Dr. Fauci. He's the best. Okay? Yeah, I want people to get back to work so I could go camping and stuff and people don't there you go. Nature yeah. is the only truth. Your nature won't lie. Nature won't lie. Hell to you. yeah, dude. Yeah. So you think so, a, you think a bear cares if the Earth is a globe? You think a mountain lion cares if the Earth is a globe, dude? You're out there with just you and the lion, bro. Right. That's all yeah. I'm talking about. I mean, go out, meditate, and imagine yourself spinning, twirling, and whirling, and corkscrewing through an infinite space vacuum, and then clear your head and imagine yourself sitting on the foundation that doesn't move, where all of the luminaries in the sky are circling above you, and you're safe, and there's abundance, and there's power. It's a whole different world. Your whole spirit will lift. And then once your Sounds spirit like lifts, you can start to see. <laughs> it is like DMT. By the way, yeah, I've, done it. Dope, I've, done, I've done ayahuasca ceremonies. Oh, okay. Shit. The, let me tell you something. This place is way more than they want us to know, right? Yeah, um, shrooms it, will let you know that too. Yeah, 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 you know it. Man. <laughs> Facts. You know it. Facts. I mean, I understand Drugs. that. But like, yeah, yeah. It, and, oh, and shrooms, they tell you that you once your brain cells, you know, they they die over time. Um, mushrooms uh, have um, what's it called? It's, it's now I can't. Like a tropic problem. shit. There you go. No, not yeah. psychot- not psychotropic. Oh. They Neutropic? have. Neutropic. They make your brain. They neurogenesis they have they ah. make your brain cells grow okay hell yeah so yeah. getting it over get, getting away from all that if you want to learn the truth about flat earth don't google it because you're just going to end up at nonsense you're going to end up Bing? at horribleness that's true. my my app is three dollars two dollars and 99 cents oh now we're here coming it, here th- coming. Th- listen, <laughs> i walked away i walked away from high six figures <laughs> to do this because because if we get our freedoms back at any point which we may not Um, How long can we hold on to it when the people that are controlling us know the truth of this world and we're lost in space, spinning out of control, not knowing our true power. So how many people know you think? um, Well, it's growing fast. That's why they're going to flip the table soon. So get ready. This could be your last podcast. I have a question real quick. (laughs) I know that I know that. Hang on, hang on, Peaches. We will continue podcasting through the apocalypse. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. All right. So I know we covered like the why lie, but like, What about like the, like, why does it matter? You know what I mean? If it's, even if it's a globe, if it's flat, like you have a limited, you have a finite amount of time on this planet. That is a fact. Do you? Everyone lives, everyone, whatever. You know what I mean? Like he's got a slide of how we don't really die. (laughs) Don't bust that out. But I'm saying like, you have a finite amount of time in this earth. So like whether flat, round, fucking Pentagon, some sort of 12 sided die bullshit. Like, why not just like, say fuck that who cares and just He's do what to you want to do to get some pussy and... well so so well, i was like that i was <laughs> yeah, i was a sure. good person you know but really you know out kind of materialistic and yeah and uh and i was good you know, i was helping people when i could and and doing whatever and working and and uh just part of the system but then when i really started to see what this place was um mm. life got so much better it's like you know like when i first I went into flat earth kicking and screaming. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I banned people from our social media for even suggesting that I watch. A flat I saw earth. this. I saw this CNN interview. 
I was just reading now where you're like the last thing in the world I want to be is a flat earther. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but the, the community that we have is amazing. We're having a conference in South Carolina in October called flat Tober fast. Uh, it's a one day is a, um, a conference, you know, presentations. And the other next day is literally a, like a music festival. If you guys can, if anyone can get to South Carolina, it's called flat Tober fast. Um, it's going to be amazing. Yo, <laughs> be like book, that's that's a nice name. Yo, we'll do a live podcast. <laughs> Dude, come, you, I'm telling you something. So, so here, let me just finish on the, on the app. I'm not in this for the money. If I was in it for the money, I would have stayed doing what I was doing. I was my own boss. I was making plenty of money. But the app's $3. The app costs me thousands of dollars a month to run. So that's why I charge for it. And uh, it's a one-time charge. There is a subscription that you do not have to do. Just, it pops up, there's no ad, exit out, it goes away, and that's it. It only shows up once a day. Bam, you still get everything. Um, it will show, it, like, if you want to research Flat Earth, you can research for 500 hours, and you'll probably get two hours worth of good content. On the app, 500 hours gives you 500 hours of awesome content. And, uh, and anyone that's taken the challenge has not um, gotten the Bitcoins, and they've all become Flat Earthers. So... What I recommend is check it out. Just win, watch win. one video a day. Every day, the app will go, hey, there's a new video up. A little message will come up. New video. Watch the video and go, huh, didn't know that. And that's it. And then uh, and then everything will change. Everything. I, I mean, I, I, I could yeah, say dude. it would be super easy to take you and do that path that you said. I mean, I don't know if it's in the capabilities of aircraft or whatever, but if they could just do that to you, why wouldn't they and just be like, fuck off, like, don't do this because it's not worth it's not worth <laughs> no, they won't do it they, they won't don't want to blow up the spot dude they don't yeah they you won't. know what i'm saying like, i will get my pilot's license i will buy a fucking plane and i'll do, do it, it myself. and it's just All to right, prove it to it, you fine. you're not going to prove anything to dave Look, it's just proving it to I'm you on the DJ. space station this it's so easy to fake shit okay Holy shit. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Have you been in space the whole time? The whole fucking time. <laughs> the whole fucking <laughs> time, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's Holy ridiculous shit. how easy it is to fake stuff. I mean, if you look, I mean, we didn't even get into NASA. I mean, but if you see, if you catch them faking something in space just once, then you know that they're... they're and they're, they've done they're, it a hundred times. They're doing yeah. it all the time, right? Check this out. Here's a lemon. Watch. That's not a real lemon. That's a CGI object. Look, it was right through his hand. Okay, that was pretty crazy. It they make go. mistakes Something like fake happen all the fucking time. It's why would they right, even bring? Why would then. they even bring a lemon? They, they got thing. it up. It was like, they, oh, we got a fresh why? lemon on the soyas. You know, they bring. That guy's got a fresh... weird ass hand. Yeah, th yeah no kidding. Bullshit. It's all it's all screwed up. Look at that. They're, <clears> they're <throat> caught <throat> hanging on wires all the time. They get tangled in the wires. There's CGI issues, all sorts of stuff, and then uh, that's it. I mean, what a load. Once you understand that NASA is faking everything. Then you can kind of unwind it. By the way, I became a flat earther before I realized the NASA was fake because I never looked into it. So NASA. it's there's so many things that they do that are just totally. I mean, I think up. there there is a good whether you. I, I'm just speaking to the people that are listening. Whether you think this is all bullshit or not, there's a good message here, and it's definitely don't believe everything you hear or see. Don't like think for you yourself, hear, verify yourself. I, I mean, think think for yourself. Not everything even verify I'm it. showing like, you, everything I'm telling you, you can actually verify. Nothing NASA tells you can be verified. Nothing. Yeah, not without and, what they say. Is and we catch them lying. And yeah. we catch them lying. So you catch them lying. They're liars. Liars. Lying liars. Lying Pants liars. Fire, dude. Lying liars. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So is this is this going on your YouTube channel as well? Yeah, I'll put it up on on. It'll be on Flat Earth Dave interviews. Beautiful. So right? for anybody it'll watching, also, there, it'll be in the app watch. under interviews. If you want to check us out, Dick Talk Podcast, uh, Dick Talk Pod on Instagram, Dick Talk Podcast on TikTok. We put up funny shit. It's not always conspiracy stuff. We do dip into it a little bit because this is fun as hell. I love this. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will link. Even, I will link your podcast. Your your wherever it, wherever it is. Um, uh, below uh, all major. So anyone watching this video, maybe. check out the dicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you definitely had me. Come watch some dicks. I'm See, to I mean, these two. I'm not gonna lie. They were very skeptical coming in. I was like, just chill, listen, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just have fun. I think this was, yeah. it was a good time. Listen, Adam, no, I came Adam. in here. I came in here to be educated. Yeah. No, yeah. well, you know what? Listen, don't believe anything I said. I just pointed to a whole bunch of doors that you didn't know were there. Now you can go look at them and listen, get Take a little peek. App. Take get a little the peek, app. Dude. And the other thing, I'm adding a new feature to the app. It's literally going on like in one or two weeks where you can see, uh, as long as you opt in on the app, 
it'll show you where all the other app users are. So you can be like out in town or like, hey, there's other flat earthers in my town. And then you can message. It's, right. like, it's like a grinder thing. It yeah. is just like grinder, except <laughs> that we don't do each other off the ass. Well, I mean, that depends on the person, right? Like maybe you'll get lucky. Hey, yeah, no. Yeah, no one is allowed to use my app for that. My app Come on, will, dude. My app now will, who's big brother? Now who's you ever want, if you want, it's like and babies <laughs> will be born because fuckers. of this feature on the app. Flat babies. Flat okay. fuckers. I, 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 I won't believe that. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us, man. This is awesome. Yeah, that was definitely good. interesting. I definitely enjoyed it. All right. <laughs> you look, Adam, you look a little like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Look in your face. Oh, no, I'm fucking, he, I'm fucking he always, stoned and he drunk. Always, no, like, no, 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 that's machine. good. That's good. This is me, baby. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, good. Dude. Well, it's, again, I really appreciate you taking the time, man. I we went like way over the the optimal time that we had scheduled. I so. saved a little extra time because I said these guys look like they're gonna be uh, an interesting conversation. <laughs> Hell, Absolutely. Man, oh, we should do it again. You know, I'll be in touch. All right. We get uh, this was tight. I really liked it. All right, man. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll see. You. Have a good Have a good night. You too, you man. Too. Later. Bye.